if you want to own a bulldog, you have to be fit for the job. A bulldog is not a dog for everyone. You have to have the personality for it. You have to have the energy for it. And you as the owner have to have the discipline for it. You see Humphreys running around, he's jumping, he's on the couch, he's off, he's drooling, he's, you know, there's slobber all over the floor. If you're running around with a rag just trying to clean up and follow him around, I mean, that's not going to be enjoyable. You just got to laugh about it because that's just who, that's just who these guys are. And you laugh and, you know, you have um, a heart for them. You give them yours and they'll give you theirs. I've always known bulldogs were going to be a part of my life. Um, I was told. Yes, he was told. I wanted to make sure that we were in our right time in our life. So we did everything we had to first, and then we got Kobe. <laughs> the pizza oven! We thought we were complete. We were complete when we had Kobe. Kobe passes away in the beginning of March, absolutely devastated. Right around the time that Chris and Allie had lost Kobe. I had known them for a long time, loved Kobe, and we went to his memorial. One of our clients, had uh, just gotten Humphrey. One day she just came in and said, I don't want him. Handed him to me and I took him home. And at his memorial, it came up into my head that, you know what, they know a lot of bulldog people that would give Humphrey a good home. And as luck would have it, Kobe and Humphrey had met, played, knew each other. Kobe passes away in the beginning of March and in the beginning of April, we have Humphrey. And Alejandra and I really felt like that was a gift to us from Kobe to sort of say, love him like you loved me. And so we, we really cherish that. That's why every single day we try to make things as awesome and exciting for Humphrey as we can. We're also trying to always get him new experiences, right? Because I think that helps build, you know, kind of quote unquote, build the dog a little bit. But you come here and you have different smells, and different sounds, and different sights, and different tactile sensations. We're gonna go to the beach where you're gonna now walk on sand which is a totally different experience. Or when you go jump in the ocean, which is a different experience, a different smell, different animal, seagulls, different noises. Alejandra and I have decided, okay, well, guess what? From the day we get you until your last day on earth, we are going to flood you with love and treats and toys and sleeping in the middle of the California King bed and doing whatever the hell you want, quite frankly, because you deserve it. And we feel like we owe it to Kobe. <laughs>